Look at that mother crystal off in the distance. You know, everyone got a little baby boner over, like, Elden Ring and how good, like, the long-distance shots looked. Uh, this game there, every bit is good, if not better. Like, that is beautiful. It's a little dark. The sun might help that look a little bit better, but... We're hopefully near the freaking end. <laughs> we're 90% in. I think 90 I promise, folks. Hold on. I, I just I want to check. What are we? 92% in. See that there? Game progress. 92% return to game. I'm just really... 2024 is going to be the year of me finishing everything from 2023 that we didn't. So look for the finales of Resident Evil 4 remake uh hopefully this zelda tears of the kingdom god what else what else um diablo 4 fuck man if we ever if we ever no i don't have to fight you fucking wait there's more Oh, of course, Joshua. Of course, it bothers you, Joshua. I don't know. I don't know. What else? Oh, Jedi Survivor. Jedi Survivor could definitely be one. Uh, And I think that's it. I don't think we'll be beating <laughs> Starfield at all um mario wonder and mario rpg yes absolutely i'm actually gonna do the smart thing and record those like i'm just gonna have a day where it's episode after episode after episode after episode oh no clive i'm gonna be honest i really like this game but in no way shape or form should you have been nominated for Video Game Voice Actor of the Year. You sounded exactly like this the entire game. No range, no nothing. Just dark, brooding, gothic teenager. He seems like a really nice fellow, though, so I feel mean saying that. I'm just saying, it's like, the, give me 6,000 lines and $350 an hour to read them all, and I can talk just like this. I know, that's not fair. He did also uh, several times scream, Joshua! I could do that too. I don't know. I didn't play enough of Baldur's Gate 3 to actually see that winner. Like, see him voice act, but I'm surprised my boy Cal didn't do more. The final mother crystal! The final mother crystal! Oh, that looks like a big, veiny, crystal dick. Sorry, it's cold ones o'clock. We have uh, Captain Morgan, not the shitty white rum, or the shitty normal one. We got the, uh, the, the, the cool, the good one, the one that's like $30. Private stock, there we go. We had to take a break from bourbon. And I, I can't... What is the thing you mix with tequila? 7-Up? Sprite? Fanta, lemon, lime, squirt. Every girl loves a good squirt. I can't just drink straight tequila, and I'm not going to fucking have 70 margaritas a month. So there needs to be, like, some sort of thing to go with tequila, like whiskey, Coke, or rum and Coke, or 7 and 7. You know what I mean. Also, we're using the buster sword, so lick me. Ugh, don't judge me. You let me know what it's like when your parents live with you for two and a half months. And then they leave, and then the house is a little quieter because the lady and the little lady are off on a play date. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, we're using dark now instead of fire. 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. By the way, I just learned. <laughs> did I, did, I don't know if I said this. Wait, what is the Zen to Zen to Susum? What is the Zen Susum right there in the corner? See the three? What does that mean? So Odin's whole thing is you can use his sword. Is this like the Bahamut thing? <laughs> so yeah, you can use Odin's sword. By the way, you can use any icon ability with any icon sub ability in any order you want. So basically, I can use six moves in any way I want. I don't have to use all of them. That is a hell of a thing to find out 92% into the game. And I feel slightly dumb. But that's okay. That's what New Game Plus is for. You like the Buster Sword, by the way? I think I'm like 80% or 70% through Final Fantasy VII Remake. Never really streamed it. I think I did like last year. Or no. This current year, but... No, no. February of like 2022. Whew! By the way, we miss our parents dearly. Whenever they leave, there is a a shock of sadness of like, oh. Because it's just quiet, you know? There's nobody cooking. There's nobody... Yelling at the news. What the fuck is that? Well, that's a cool attack. Welcome to Final Fantasy, folks. Every every monster can just summon asteroids. Man, these cutscenes are cool, though. I am going to enjoy the hell out of this in 2024. Not having to talk into a mic and really just sinking my teeth into the story. Also, these enemy designs are fucking rad. Look at that goddamn thing. Wait, did he move? Oh! Oh, shit. I really, I don't know how to use the Odin shit yet. I got to kind of get good with that. Damn it. Damn it. It's going to take forever to fill this one up. God, the music is so fucking cool. This is so much better than a turn-based fucking boss fight. I'm sorry. Damn it, he doesn't attack me enough to fill this fucking shit up. Alright, how do I use this? Alright, let's just pause it. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Abilities. I should just fucking use this one. What is this? No, don't like that. Search forward to strike an enemy. It fills fire in the Zazatsu Gauge. Replace Clive's current weapon with Odin's blade. Landing abilities with the arm hold. 
to oh okay got it oh 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 my god did you see that Woo! we fucking oh i'm sorry if that was loud Oh no, this is like a general Radon ass attack right here. What the fuck are we doing? You'll conjure a ward? What? Oh shit. The more you use your powers, the sicker you get. That's the lore of the world. Is this it? Wait, what? He's gonna fucking Vegito it? Like, uh... Like he did that big-ass Buhan attack? That's actually pretty badass. Man, this fucking game rocked. I'm sorry, this deserved a Game of the Year nomination. Yes, it is. How about... I've been saying that the whole game. I, and I would I would take out Mario Wonder. That does not mean I don't fucking love Mario Wonder. Mario Wonder is a pretty damn good game, and honestly, I feel a little dirty even saying that. Maybe Spider-Man 2? I mean, technically, this did something Final Fantasy never has. I can't say it's new to video games. It's, it's very Devil May Cry, original God of War, you know, type ish combat. I mean that in the loosest sense possible. Now we just go back to fighting it. Even though it could probably do that at any moment. Cool. It's alright. We got Cloud's Buster Sword. I also heard too if you play Final Fantasy 7 on Rebirth, uh, Rebirth on your PS5 and there's Final Fantasy 7 Remake and Final Fantasy 16 data on there, you're gonna get like cool shit. Uh. Wow, that's really fucking weak. Fuck, he is... I should not have done this battle for, like, something new. Oh! Alright, nope, this is not going well. Wait, I didn't want to activate it! All right, cool. Oh, we got a direct line to his head. Whoa, where'd he go? Excuse me. Yeah, we're fucking his ass up. Fuck you, nobody makes me lose on this channel. Why is it so weak, though?
You bang your head against the wall there, sweetie. Great job, sweetie. Bahamut's going to bring down the rain, though. I'm telling you. Bahamut's not going to play nice, sweetie. Honestly, like, my favorite fucking PS5 games... I think Ragnarok has to be one. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart two. And and this might have to be three. I'm trying to hit his head because that's what gives me the yellow numbers. He's done. He's done. What are we doing here? He's fucking done. Whoa, he's dead. Get the fuck out of here. Look at that health bar. Uh-uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that would have killed me. Behemoth slain. Yeah, fuck you. I don't know what we were doing there at the end there. He clearly was done. Oh, shit. I need that. I need that to craft the best sword in the game, which I would like to do before beating it. Holy shit. Look at Cloud's Buster sword. That's some blood. That's fucking rad. Oh, Joshua, weren't you just coughing blood? Also, Ifrit did not show up. Also, man, cheers to 2023. Year of the fucking every video I do needs to be 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Because every game is fucking long form that came out this year. And I'm not going to edit them down that much. Because that shit takes time and I don't I don't have that time Brucey can I look at the map no oh I could leave wait really stage currently wait it will really let me leave right now to go buy potions don't be a bitch you don't need potions Oh my god, look at this. This is so goddamn cool. Fuck. Look at this. Look at what I... Holy sh ninja shit. Oh my god, I earned a trophy. Look at this. Oh my god, using Odin fucking rocks. Oh my god, who were the Final Fantasy fans that didn't like this game? What? Oh, it's not turn based. Uh, okay. I, I I don't even have a metaphor. I just really don't. I, I don't. I don't have a metaphor for what it's like to be a Final Fantasy fan and somehow hate this game. I don't. I don't get you. Is this the first one to ever not be turn-based? No. So what's the deal? What pissed you off? Like, it, it just has to be nerds. Wait, no, nope, that's where we just slayed that beast. It has to be nerds. It has to be nerds who just want to, like, think. I saw some fucking little bitch post a meme like, Oh, you say you don't like turn-based. All I hear is, you don't like thinking while you play games. 
No, sometimes I don't, bitch. I'm willing to bet the guy who made that meme don't have kids or mortgage or much going on for him in life. Uh, Probably just living in mommy's basement. Sometimes I do want to shut my brain off and mash a button and see just really cool shit happen on the screen. I don't really see what the problem is with that. And also, by the way, thinking most turn-based games, let's be honest, are stupidly easy. And before any one of you say a word about how that's wrong, 95% of your fights are going to be against enemies you know you can beat. Like, let's be honest, you know you can beat. Most of the most of those fights are you fighting the pawns of that world. The boss fights, sure. Those can be difficult and maybe require a bit of thought and how you're going to use your resources and yada yada yada. Fine. But most of the in-game fights with most of the enemies are going to be are going to be whatever. I'm sorry, they will be. So shut up. I will say, Persona 5 does a pretty good job of turn-based. Like, that's turn-based I don't mind, because it, it's very, like, to the point, and the fights can be over real quick. The animations are also pretty cool. I don't know, that, that just works. Which, by the way, yeah, Persona 5, we are... Halfway into, like, the first dungeon, and we haven't played it in over a year. Um, I'm very w confused and put off by the idea of, like, leaving a dungeon and coming back. I get that you kind of need it to, like, heal and, like, kind of reset your boundaries, but, like, all the enemies kind of re-fucking-spawn when you do that, so I don't know. Someone leave a comment and tell me. If I'm fucking overthinking it. But I, I just... There's something about that game that really... Hooked me in. Story wise. It's like hard to explain. I'm like man I've heard everyone have such a boner. Over this fucking game. I want to enjoy it too. The next one we're about to play is The Last of Us. That's another one. As much as you hear me complain and bitch and moan on this station, just know a station. God, am I fucking old. YouTube channel, Twitch channel. I do just want to kind of enjoy things. Like when people are like, oh, I like this game. I want to, I want to, I want to, I too want to like the game. So like. I, I want to, like, see what I'm missing out on. That's why I gave Final Fantasy VII Remake a thing, because there was no way I was playing the original for PlayStation 1. But I saw a buddy on his channel play the remake, and I was like, wait, it's not turn-based anymore? And then I was like, wait, it's, like, kind of Kingdom Heartsy combat? Fuck yeah, man. I'm all down with that. We're, we're going to fucking beat Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't know if we'll record it or anything. I, like, forget a lot about what's happening. By the way, hats off to this episode, which is not very cutscene-y and more action-based. How about that? Look at that. That is some anime ass. Oh, my man is twirling in midair. I do think it's funny when the turn based fans are like. Final Fantasy 16 sucks. It's basically hit one button to win. Excuse me. How does anything turn-based work? <laughs> what? Excuse me? <sighs> you want to run that by me again? By the way, what is the correct number of buttons for an action game? 
I mean, God of War has two. Elden Ring had like two. What? What's the correct number? Four and a half? Like, what does that even fucking mean? Oh, it's just hit the same buttons to win. Isn't that every game? You need to hit the uh, Crash Bandicoot. Sonic, Mario, hit the same buttons to win. Does that make them bad? I swear, some of you are just fucking stupid, and it fucking pisses me off. There are so many things you can critique video games about, but to critique an action game for being like, oh, it's the same buttons. Yeah, that's how most games work. They have the same buttons you push. Fucking idiot. Mario, literally there's a jump and a dot and a speed up button. Woo! Ugh. You know what? I can't even I can't even get that mad because at one point I was like that. Like kids that are in their fucking late teens, early twenties, they just wanna argue. That's all it is. They just wanna argue. I know they just wanna argue because I used to do the same fucking thing. I literally I leveled up? What? Cool. I literally, when the Blackhawks were playing the Flyers in the Stanley Cup, I literally joined, like, Flyers groups just to troll. Like, that's how much of a fucking loser I was. I thought this Odin sword cuts through anything. All right, it says hold square down to do that use Odin's sword thing, and it's, like, not doing it. God damn, is this game a fucking good time? Honestly, I think more people would be happy if, if they just told themselves, let's enjoy things. Look at how fucking cool that looks. Oh my god, I hope this does not deter this team from ever making a game like this again. You know what though? I own the physical version of it, so I will always be able to replay this goddamn fucking masterpiece. God damn it, is this game good. I'm sad that I cannot call this my game of the year. It's absolutely Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I don't think about it. I don't think about the choice often. I'm just, like, mad at myself because I'm like, motherfucker, this game rocks. Let's see here. Where do we go, Torgal? Thank you. By the way, Cloud's Buster Sword, really nice. One of my favorite swords in all of gaming. One of my favorite weapons. Cloud's Buster Sword. Kratos' uh, Blades of Chaos. Link's Master Sword. What else? I'm going to say it. Ratchet and Clank's Dimensionator thing. The thing that like calls in big things from other dimensions and lands them on other players. Probably not as iconic, but still very cool. I don't know if I got any others. Hey, who's got the right to die? God, what are we going to do tomorrow? I got to tell you, winter's been rough with the child. Because, like, there are just some days where, like, it's, it's wet, muddy, cold, and shitty outside. And you can just only take her to the mall so fucking often. There are, though, there are a few indoor kids' places. Jesus Christ. It just feels too good to play this game. It feels too good. God damn it. 
Nintendo, make a Zelda game with this combat. Just do it. Just do it. Make it a fucking spinoff if you don't want to, like, put it like you did with Hyrule Warriors being Dynasty Warriors clone. Do it. Make some game where fucking Link is just fucking Dante from fucking Devil May Cry. God, go, 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 go. Now that I, I know I can mix and match abilities, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, am I just... I? You can't make it all insanely good attacks either, like the crowd control ones and whatnot. Because then, like, you're going to be in a boss fight and you're going to be screwed. Also, can we please appreciate... Can we appreciate that this game was released with a new game plus? Oh, of course he does it now that the enemy's no longer fucking staggered. Oh, cool, it did it anyway. Yeah, man, that fucking attack is nuts. I'm gonna level that shit up as soon as I can. All right, anything else? Any other enemies we need to fight and fuck and suck? Sorry, I've had my fair share of cold ones. I really haven't. I've had literally two drinks. This is what I'm like now. I'm washed up. I also worked out today and didn't eat a lot of food. If you have an Italian family, you know the holidays. You know how Joey Chestnut eats like 47 billion hot dogs on the 4th of July? That's basically what every Italian holiday is, except it's not hot dogs. It's it's any combination of bread, sauce, and cheese. And then it, it's that. And Christmas Eve was that. Christmas Day was that. And now my body is just like, you know, that's enough, man. We uh we know you can eat. Good job. So yeah, I like today. What did I have today? I had a BLT for dinner and that was it. That was it. No breakfast, no lunch, no inkling to be hungry or eat today. My my body shit its brains out. And was like, yeah, man, take it easy with the food for just, like, a day, please. All right, let's go, Clive. Let's go. This feels exactly like the end game in Zelda. We just recorded an episode of Zelda near the end, which this is probably going to go on YouTube way before that episode, so this is going to seem weird. But, like, this seems like a lot of bullshit. Jesus Christ. The only thing I'm confused on how to use is the Zenkai boost thing. Zenatsu. It says hold square down. See that thing in the corner that says three? But Clive keeps making the fire sword. There we go. Okay, so I think I have to tap square, then hold it down. Not just hold it down. Okay. That is cool, though, that I get Odin's sword. See, now it now it's hold it down. And now it's Bahamut time. Which, by the way, the fucking Valhalla DC DLC came out for God of War, which we will be 
Probably playing after this. God, it's so good to see my fucking video games on a big TV again. <laughs> but to be fair, the TV in my bedroom is way better than the TV down here. But the TV in the bedroom is 42 inches. And this TV is 60 inches. So I'm going to go with this. I'm not going to lie. I have that itch. That itch that every man, instead of going to therapy, does. Where I want to just buy a new fucking TV. Like, I've been hearing about OLEDs lately. God, do I want a fucking OLED? God, do I want maybe a fucking OLED? But they're so expensive. And I told myself, let's not be fooled again. Um, we don't want to level that up. See, so I have to, I have to get that then holds. So I, I need to hit arm of darkness. So I need to hit hold square to execute it. I think I need to tap square, then hold it. But god damn, 5,000 experience points to level that up? Yeah, that's going to happen in our new game plus. Jesus. 575, 625. We could upgrade both of these. Yeah, no, we didn't use any of the cold bitches shit. This is Bahamut. That's him. We're going to keep him. Do I really want to refund this to unlock that? Ugh, I'm just going to need it again. No, no. I love the idea of this game, though. It's very, it's very Mega Man-y. Like, you basically absorb the abilities of the bosses. Like, this has been in games before, and now I understand why people like Mega Man so much. It was never for me. I tried it. I, I just couldn't do it. Wait, really? I could have sworn we came from that way. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, no, I would not have found this fucking tiny obscure door or that obscure lock. Oh boy, another giant arena where we could yet face another boss. Why am I out of booze? Also, I've learned you basically need to beat the game to go with the DLC. Wow, I am full of suck at the moment. Why don't you take this? Why don't you take two of these and call me in the morning, you son of a bitch? Can I say something without seeming too fucking preachy and like please see me as a good person -y. um I swear to god Christmas has become more about making sure everyone I love and like gets presents versus like making sure I get something I like I know I know I know that's so Super like, okay, bro, you're good. We know it. I swear to God, like the stress from like, fuck, I got to get my mom something. I got to get my dad something. Like everyone needs something. 
and like I gotta get my girlfriend something I gotta get my daughter something and it's like the stress of like fuck I like I've got a lot of shit I have to get the feeling of getting that done and like knowing okay I got I got all of that done is is like actually slightly more fulfilling than like oh I got something I really fucking wanted Damn it, he transported right no, get out of there. Oh, of course new enemies approach. Okay, now we will use this. This has been a whole lot of action though. I th I fucking wish the game was majority like this. The cutscenes are good though. I just get I just get pissed when I'm trying to do a let's play and everything is just cutscenes. It's like, all right, well, thank you for tuning into the channel. Oh, those guys are dead. I could have killed those guys six times over. God, what a year for games, though, man. 2023, I think I'm going to remember this year for a while for a couple of reasons. One of them was probably best summer of my life thanks to my kid. Who gave me that like childlike wonder of summer again. And then, my God, the video games. Fuck. It's too much. Honestly, I wish we could spread this shit out. Some people are being weird already, though. Someone's like, oh, man, 2024 shaping to even be bigger than 20. No, it's not. No, it's not. We will not see a year like this for quite some time. The only years that, like, even remotely can stack up with this one is probably 2005, which was, like, uh, Resident Evil 4. It, it, was, it was a few. I think there were a few GameCube games, too, that whipped ass. I'm bad at years. Uh God damn it. I I do not like the way this fight's gone. I haven't even staggered this motherfucker. But anyways, literally the only thing I'm looking forward to next year is maybe the fucking Outer Worlds 2. I don't even know if next year is the designated release date. Uh, and then I, I know I'm not trying to be funny or make a meme, but like... Uh, the Gex remake? They're remaking the first three Gex games? Uh, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. Listen, I'll be the first to say, too, the game was mostly ass the way it controlled. But... 
it's just got like a soft spot of like I was young and I replayed it a lot and I thought it was very good and then I'm trying to think the other one that's it Outer Worlds 2 and, and the Gex remake would I would sit awful pretty next year There, there's a few games I may try out of nowhere what's the one Ronin Ronin looks like it could be fun all right, how many more of these do we have to fight? I appreciate this part of the game, though. Yep, it sure is. Oh, I see. What the fuck is this? Holy shit. Oh, it's the boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me because I'm all up in a boat. I'm sorry. I have problems. What the fuck is that? Is that Jill? She still has some of her ice powers after giving them. Oh, it's Mr. Bahamut and Jill. And the guy, I forget his name. <laughs> Did you see Joshua? Little, little fucking, our little twink. The link of this world. Wait, really? They, j they could have cutscened that for like a good 90 seconds and I would have been entertained but no we're gonna skip over that oh Jill I totally hope we get to fuck before the game is over yeah you're, you're telling me our best friend sniffed out a crack good job solid Also, the other thing about me playing a new game plus, so thanks to the Elgato and the HDMI, normally when I stream and record PS5 shit, it's never in 4K or 60 frames. It's usually in 1080p and it's at 30. Sometimes I can hit 60 if I stream through the PS5, which I don't like doing because it makes the voice quality shit. But, like, I cannot wait to replay this in actual 4K, <laughs> not 1080p. There's something about the signal. Like, once the signal to the TV has an Elgato in the way of it, it's hard to do 4K, which I've been told I'm not alone, so it's fine. Don't worry, we're not missing any important dialogue. This is all, we're going to fight to win at the end against all odds. All right, this seems like a good spot to save and start the next episode, bitches. We'll be back. We'll be back with, I think, some Ragnarok Valhalla DLC. I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. <laughs>